Hello, my darlings. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Ashley, also Ash McFairs. And since we are in the first week of September and Fashion Week and the runways are literally mere days away from us, I thought it would be fun to talk about some new luxury items that has really caught my eye that really made me do a double take. Like, girl, I just might have to spend my little inflation coin on that. We know how inflation is high right now. <laughs> So let's get into this video. First luxury item that has really made your girl be like, ooh, I was waiting for you at the dough, was Fendi, the Fendi sunshine bag. Oh, she's such a cute little bag, right? She is white, she is furry, she has black leather handles and that gold hardware with the Fendi brand name, just right smack dab in the middle. She is that girl. Oh, she made me so happy when I looked at her. And I usually never like bags like that, but that one really gave me pause. I don't know if she just looks so fluffy and like I want to cuddle with her, but she looks amazing. Now, obviously this is a statement bag and we are not going to wear her everywhere. She's just not made for that. However, when you do bring her out, she is a moment. She is the moment. She just elevates any look. I'm telling you, she looks phenomenal. When I saw her, I immediately thought of brunch with the girls, having some drinks, some little high tea, Central Park Boathouse. As soon as I saw her, that is what I thought of. And I was like, girl, Fendi, got a little tickle in my throat for you. <laughs> Another item that I saw was the Tom Ford Sherling bags. Now we have two of them. We have the chain label bag, and then we also have the Bianca Hobo bag in the size mini. Now with the chain label bag, you know, it gives that very much classic flap feel with her gold hardware. And she's in that beautiful, beautiful fall color cognac. The straps are removable and you can wear them as a shoulder bag, cross body, or just a top handle bag. Bianca Hobo bag in mini, also same material, shearling. However, she comes in two colors, cognac and nude. But just like our chain label bag, she is removable straps and you can wear her in three different ways. And when I saw this bag, I was like, that is a fall bag absolutely from the color down to the material the shearling material because you know this is where you start bringing the shearling coats the teddy coats perfect bag for that next on the list of luxury items that i have my eye on because i see you and you see me that's why you're staring at me i'm talking about the bottega mini jody bag now hold your horses don't get angry don't be like girl everybody got that bag that's not the bag i'm talking about I am talking about the hot fix rhinestone bag. Oh, just, just take a moment. Let's take a pause for the beauty of that bag. She is absolutely beautiful. In a previous video, I talked about ballroom and house influence in the fashion world. And I'm telling you, I'm seeing it. And this is what I'm talking about. Like this bag is absolutely beautiful. Such an amazing statement piece. I am a little bit concerned about the rhinestone because um, it looks glued on. It looks like it has some really strong glue, but it looks glued on. So, you know, I'm always a little concerned about rhinestones that are glued because I, I don't want them to fall off because in my head, you can always see that one missing rhinestone. You know what I mean? But other than that, I just think she's such a beautiful bag. She is so fun. She is flirty. She it just makes me want to dance i see disco nights hell i see studio 54 with this bag C can we please bring back studio 54 can we at least give me five years i feel like we missed a beautiful time in our life by not having studio 54 i also have another mini jody bag that i have my eyes on which is the chlor in the color chlorophyll i feel like that bag is so such a beautiful shiny metallic green who doesn't uh, i think she is a fun play on the ever loving lime green like i like to call it but the people like to call it neon yellow 
Mm, whatever um but she is such a fun take on that color i feel like she is a great way to elevate any casual look or to just pair beautifully with any outfit that you were going out with i feel like she's just such a fun bag when i first saw her i just loved her from a distance and i was like oh this is cute this is nice this is a this is a good one for bottega but as time went on and i started seeing her more and more as most things happen i started to just love her more and more and now I'm thinking about spending my little inflation coin. <sighs> Another luxury item I want to mention is Louis Vuitton. Is that how you say it? Louis Vuitton? Anyways, I hope I am not butchering this name, so please forgive me if I do, but I think it is pronounced the Lou or the Lou you know what i'm talking about it is the open back sneaker i think that sneaker is so fun the color white black and with the lv monogram around it i literally feel like this shoe is so easy so effortless you can pair her with all white all black of course but i also see the shoe complementing the y2k style that has made a resurgence here um with the boyfriend is it boyfriend jeans yes and just you know i guess the crop top how they how the gen zers are wearing it you gotta ask them but that's, i think they would pair that like that but um a simple dress all white all black i feel like this shoe is very effortless you just get up and go and that's all you want really want your shoe to do you know quick side note since you've made it this far into the video i do think you are enjoying it which makes me very happy because i am enjoying spending some time with you so if you haven't done so already take a quick moment hit that thumbs up and while you're at it hit that subscribe button as well and let's become best friends that's what i want to build a community best friends friends <laughs> another luxury item that i want to mention is my ever loving brandon blackwood i feel like i just talk about him in all of my like luxury videos because i feel like he is that guy that i need to talk about all the time uh but this bag that i want to bring up is his bamboo tote bag in the size mini now this bag is new it hasn't been released yet according to brandon blackwood from his instagram account he is considering releasing this bag in the fall so we should be getting this or seeing at least a pre-order date in mere weeks and i do look forward to this bag because it is giving tbe if you know you know <laughs> tiny bag energy like cassie would say it is such a beautiful bag it is black with the gold hardware around it and according to brandon blackwood it can fit lipstick keys credit card and anything else that is small so it is definitely giving that tbe and he does have a larger size to this bag his regular bamboo tote that comes in the color black brown and one other color i think it's like two or one or two other colors i don't remember the colors at the top on the top of my head but i'm assuming since he's coming out with the black mini one that the other colors should be following that as well very much looking forward to that bag it is giving me coin purse from the 90s our 90s hoop earrings it is giving me that energy i love a tiny bag in the colder months i i don't know why i i just do i can definitely see myself frolicking around the christmas lights in new york around the empire state building with this bag oh, tv <laughs> If it hasn't become clear, I justify all of my luxury purchases by putting myself in a particular scenario. Please comment below and tell me I am not the only one that justifies their luxury purchases by coming up with these scenarios. I know one of my besties is on the same boat with me. Like, mm, we, we get it. We get it. So <laughs> please tell me it's not me. Please. Another Brandon Blackwood item that I want to talk about is a bag that actually has no name. It is a new design. According to his account, I'm get, getting this from his Instagram account. It is supposed to be coming in the coming weeks of fall as well. So we're getting some stuff from him this fall, which I'm very excited about. And to be honest, I just love Brandon Blackwood. His quality is amazing. Anything he puts out, I'm always going to look into it because I am usually not disappointed. Uh, and from what I hear from other people, they are not disappointed as well. So I am giving Brandon Blackwood a double take. And lastly, on the list of items that has really piqued my interest and made me say I have my eye on you 
is a brand called Kalichi. Kalichi, I think I'm saying it right. Now, I have never heard of this brand. I've actually discovered them from Fashion Bomb Daily. But once I saw this shoe, I knew like it, I just, I got, I got flashbacks. Now the name of the boot, um, if I say it wrong, I apologize, but I assume it's named Kyrie. Kyrie Desert Boot and Sandal. It has belt buckle detailing all around it. The hardware is silver. The belt uh, buckles are adjustable. And fun fact, it is wide calf friendly, which I think is very important because I am a part of the thick thigh gal. Couldn't be prouder. <laughs> but I am a part of the thick thigh gals. So I understand when you are buying a boot and it is like, wait, it's not going up. It's not going past this. It's just, just not. So I think that would be fun. I think that's great. The reason this gave me pause and I had to look at it and like double take on it is it just gave me that 2000s nostalgia. I got that hip hop and R&B vibe, that video vixen vibe. It was just beautiful, like a, a diva. I saw little Kim. In my head, I saw Foxy Brown, Auntie Mary, Mary J. Blige. It also gave me the flashback of the denim where it was hip, hugging, low rising, bejeweled type denim. I just literally got just 2000s flashback. Like that's the Y2K that I know. That is the Y2K that I know. And I was just like, oh, these boots are strutting across the streets of Harlem, across the streets of Crown Heights, a bed style. Like I would love to see the girlies in it because I was really picturing myself. I'm really been picturing myself in these boots. Like these are, uh, these are a little thing, a little moment. <laughs> Yes, guys, this is the end of the list. So far, these are the items that have currently piqued my interest. But you know, this is an ever growing list. So we're gonna always have something on this list. And I'm always gonna come back. But thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. I greatly appreciate it. You are definitely helping me and letting YouTube know that you are enjoying the content. So they are gonna continue pushing it out for you. I will have everything linked down below that I can and that is available to be linked. And I will also have another the video linked on screen somewhere around here and in the bottom bar to another video that I think you guys will like and if you haven't done so already please do thumbs up and subscribe so we can be best friends because you know what we family now <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms my name is Ash McPherson and you guys have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon whatever time of the day you are watching this bye